Hey guys, so today I want to make a benchmark speed comparison here between the 150 euro uh, Nokia Lumia 520 here with the dual core processor, uh, 1 gigahertz, 48 times 800 resolution, and also the sick Adreno 305 GPU that can handle games like Asphalt 7 without any super major issues. Uh, and then of course the Galaxy S3 Mini here that costs around 200 euros, at least in my country, Sweden. And then you get Android here, for, uh, Android with the uh, Jelly Bean uh, running on top. So we would be doing a benchmark comparison here in the Entity Benchmark app here and uh, just compare these two phones a little bit to see if we will find any major difference. And we probably shouldn't because it's it's a QCOM here versus something uh, uh, or a Nova Tor U8420 or something. A chipset that you get inside this one, uh, also one gigahertz dual core. Uh, so we have an app here. Let's see if I can just find it. So I'm just gonna pop it up here. Let's see here if we can pop it up and make a quick little test. So you can see here we have the app running. So we'll be starting to do this test at the moment. So this is start the test. And it will be going over all those normal test things. So starting here, testing out, testing CPU memory, memory performance, storage, And also, I'm not quite sure if this uh, benchmark app is working exactly the same on both. But you can see here we got a score of 7,771 here on my Lumia 520. Let's just wait and see here what kind of score we do get uh, on the Galaxy S3 Mini. That costs a little bit more. But then you probably also pay to get that little bit of a Galaxy S3 design. And then in my country, the, the Galaxy S2 costs just a little bit more also, like 250 euros, at least if you want like a new one. So it's taking a little bit longer here on the Galaxy S3 Mini to finish up this test. Maybe it's a little bit more in-depth uh, test on the S3 Mini. A little bit of a faster test here on the Lumia 520. So this is the uh, the test that I did see in the 3D ratings app. If you just want to try out some 3D graphics. Now it's finishing up here. Let's see. I'm not quite sure in Windows Phone if you can write stuff to the SD card or, I mean, Android will bring you a lot of freedom. Okay, so we got a score of 6,671, 6, so almost as high uh, as the score here uh, on the Lumia 520. And uh, let's see here if we can see the GPU test. I'm not quite sure if we got a GPU test here. Yeah, we got actually a GPU test here on the Lumia 520, but I'm not sure if that, mean, that means 2D graphics or 
hmm, CPU float point maybe. But you can see our big difference here seems to be that the GPU, uh, the QCOM GPU, one gigahertz in the uh, Lumia 520, seems like that one might be stronger. Uh, but then I do believe that the GPU, uh, or I mean, definitely also the GPU also uh, inside of the Lumia 520 also is a little bit better because it's the um, Adreno 305, same GPU as you do get in the Galaxy S4 Mini. Uh, and the Galaxy S3 Mini is almost is getting the Mali 400 GPU, which is not as good as the one in the S2, which is like the Mali 400 MP GPU, I'm pretty sure. So um, just a slight little bit of a difference there, but of course then you have to remember that if you want to take advantage of the full power of the GPU, then the S3 Mini is probably going to be more fun because uh, with the Play Store and all of those apps and there's a ton of games and a ton of 3D games, a Windows Phone 8 doesn't have that much games at the moment that is uh, like super fun in terms of graphics, but they definitely do have other games that you might want to check out. So yeah, it's quickly a benchmark comparison video here. Hope you did enjoy. And also I made more videos comparing the S3 Mini versus the Lumia 520 and if you want to have more videos comparing the Lumia 520 versus a specific device, please let me know about that and I'll see what I can do. Peace out.